Hey hello everybody, my name is Coolblue and I'm bringing out this video of me playing a board game and today I will be going into the game of Clinic, as you can tell by the video uh, title. Um, and if you're watching live on Twitch, welcome. If you're watching on YouTube, I do stream live on Twitch. Uh, I try to do it Wednesdays and Thursdays, but don't hold me to that because some days I have to change it. And some weeks I just don't stream. At any rate, I'm going to be playing this game of uh, Clinic. And this series, this is the top of the series, this series will actually be going through all of the modules and expansions. Uh, more specifically, I'm going to try to play all the games. <laughs> Not that anybody ever says it's a good idea. I'm going to try to play through all the games in a um, in, by expansion with all the modules and then just try to see how it goes. For those who don't know, Clinic is a game, it's a basically an action efficiency game, uh, action point game. Uh, it's, yeah, action point game, I guess you can call it that. So where your goal is to try to build up a clinic, score points, and you score points by buying victory points, and you play over 18 rounds, or so you play 18 turns over 6 rounds. There's a whole thing going on, but uh, it's a pretty pretty interesting game. Um, I enjoy, I've been enjoying a lot solo, and I really want to sit down and play the uh, expansions, and also, let me turn music on for music. Uh, I do want to play all the expansions and stuff that it comes with, or modules, uh, eventually. So, in order to do that, I'm making this entire video series. One, that lets everybody know what the modules look like, and then two, that also gives uh, me the opportunity to finally sit down and play all these modules, because there's 50 modules. So, the way this whole, whole entire video series are going, I guess this is the first video. Uh, I guess I'll do another video with the actual starting of the playthrough. Um, but the way the modules, or the way this video will be going, essentially I'll be playing uh, every video that I play, I'll be playing uh, the list of modules, this here is a list that I have made from Board Game Geek. Uh, sorry, I made uh, myself, and then I posted on Board Game Geek, so you can get this file if you want to. I can link it in the. Uh, I will link it in the description so you can find it there. Um, but as you can see, there's uh, five expansions. So ex uh, well, if you count the base game, and you count the mini expansions all together, there's eight expansions. So it's extension one, extension two, extension three, extension four, extension five, and then the other stuff. You can see it there in the list. So I'm not going to hold it up because it's a little bit wobbly there. But essentially, um, I'll be playing through that like so. And I'll be playing all the extension stuff. And then I'm considering doing at the very end of the at the end of the series, doing like where I play every single extension, every single module in one ex in one gameplay session. I feel like that's going to be a nightmare. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm not committing to it yet, but we'll see. We'll see. But I'm definitely going to make at least one additional playthrough of me using all my favorite modules. Uh, or at least things that I feel like were my favorite modules throughout the experience, and then put all that in and try it out. So, be on the lookout for that. So anyway, so um, other things to note about this entire series, this entire series will have a lot of mistakes. I am predicting plenty of mistakes, especially considering that I've only played through all of Extension, or all the base uh, modules and all of Extension 1. I played with some pieces of the second extension and some pieces of the third extension. And I'm assuming that eventually I'm going to make some mistakes. So um, I do have this sheet here made by uh, Nathan Morse. Uh, it's on Board Game Geek as well. It's just basically a uh, clinic deluxe holistic summary. Uh, I will be referring to this every once in a while. Uh, I don't know how useful this will be to me, but uh, it, it's kind of like a quick explanation of things in phase order. So I'll be referring to that when I can. And then finally, I do have my visual, a part of the manifest I talked about earlier. My little visual list here that's going to list all of the modules by extension. Uh, so you see here with clinic at the top, we have blood transfusion, extinguishers, workaholic, and zombies in clinic. I'll be playing with those first in my first playthrough. Uh, and the next one, I'll be using those other 13 down there. Uh, and, and the way I'll do this is um, I, I'll remove the previous extensions stuff, and then I'll add in the new extension stuff. So like I said, it's going, it's going to be kind of a rolling video series. So that way, people who want to see what... Uh, the modules play like or what the modules look at like when they're played hopefully properly, but once again, not making any promises They'll have a general idea of what they do and which ones they might be interested in um, Also, I guess I'll just announce it now um, with my playthroughs what I'll probably end up doing is I'll, I'll definitely play the extension zero with clinic um, Base game. I'll play with those first By itself as a separate game and then it, the uh, the first extension will have its own video second extension will have its own video the third extension, its own video, uh, the fourth, fifth, and then the mini expansions, specifically fourth, fifth, clinic, eh, okay, fourth and fifth I'll play together, and then I'll do the COVID-19 and the biohazard um, together, so that way we can get a generic feel, because I feel like these two might end up, 
I, I don't know if they'll be that similar, but they're on their way. I don't have them yet, so I can't play them anyway right now. Um, actually, it might be a good idea to play the COVID-19, the Biohazard, and Module Zero. I'll make the decision when I get to it. That's going to be one of the last things I do. Uh, so at any rate, there's going to be a lot of me playing Clinic. <laughs> so, so if you're watching uh, my YouTube videos, uh, if you're watching on Twitch, uh, my apologies will be seeing me play Clinic for at least three weeks. Um, at least three weeks. And then for anybody who's watching through the YouTube videos, uh, I'll, I'll make this a separate playlist so you can just watch it all together. Um, oh, oh, also, thanks for bringing it up. Yes, somebody in the Twitch uh, chat just mentioned. Uh, yes, there is a campaign book. I do have a campaign book. And I do want to do all this to eventually play through the um, expert campaign. Uh, the reason I want to do it this way is because I can play through all the thematic campaigns and just kind of play with it all in there. Or I can just do this video series and show everybody what the, what the extensions look like. But... You know, there's multiple ways to kind of approach it, <laughs> but the uh, thematic campaigns, for those who don't know, there's a campaign book, uh, which I'll try to show without spoiling everything inside the campaign book. This is the extension box. There's a campaign book that comes with clinic, or no, sorry, it doesn't come with clinic, that you can buy separately. Um, and in this campaign book, they have thematic campaigns that kind of get you used to all of the modules. So one of the things that the game recommends that you do is it recommends that you go through the thematic campaigns or it states you can do. You can go through the thematic campaigns and get used to the modules. You play one module, you have one module at a time. You play like maybe 10, 10 or 11 games. And that seems like a long time. So, <laughs> so in order to both expedite and also dive right in, so to speak, I'm just gonna play it by module and that'll at least get me familiar with generically what each module kind of does and I, I i can say as somebody who's played uh through like i said before all the base all of the first extensions some of the second some of the third i can say for sure that urban uh, uh so utility or underground utility work i do not like that module um the virus i do not like that module um the the obstetric obstetricious trishness have you pronounced that i don't like that module uh and then also uh, urban design i love that module a lot so there, there, there's a few modules I already know I like and I don't like, I'm kind of meh on, but the point of this is to kind of make a recording of it so that way everybody can see what they do. So finally, the rules, which I probably should have started off with, the rules for this entire playthrough series will be that with all the modules, with all the modules, I must interact with them at least once through the entire game. Uh, interact as I'm gonna use that, I'm not gonna define that. Well, okay, I'll try to define it a little bit. Uh, when I say interact, what I mean is that I must if it's like a janitor, for instance, um, I must at least hire one janitor, which is going to be painful, but I must do it at least once. Uh, with blood transfusions, for instance, I must at least use it once. With fire extinguishers, I must have at least one. Zombies, I must attempt to create a zombie. Uh, there are some modules that are going to be a little bit unreasonable for me to kind of always take, like for instance, the workaholic. Uh, it might be unreasonable for me to hire a workaholic. So for anything like that, like I, I, might, I might kind of play loose and fast with the rules on that. Uh, I might not hold myself too much accountable to that. But for things like hiring janitors, um, um, hiring the workaholic, stuff like that, um, I'll try my hardest to use them within the realm of me trying to, you know, still trying to win and achieve the um, solo goal, but also trying to do the thing it says here. I'll try my hardest to do that, but I can't make any promises. <laughs> so, but yeah, but, but the whole point of me holding myself to that standard is that I want to at least interact with the module so I can kind of get a feel myself of if I like it or not and also show people what the module does and what it can help what it can hurt stuff like that so I can already tell you ahead of time that the janitors one is gonna be a little bit difficult for me to interact with because I don't see a use in janitors I don't build that many conveyors but we'll talk about that once we get to it uh, anyway so that's all said and done uh we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video here separate so that way it'll be it's like it's own little starter video, give you an introduction to what's going on, let you know what's going well, how things will be going down. Um, in total, given that this is just gonna be me playing through the modules, um, I should have the base game plus module zeros. So base game plus extension zero. Yeah, base game plus extension zero, uh, the first extension, second extension, third extension, uh, and then the fourth, fifth, and I'm still debating if this is gonna be fourth, fifth, biohazard, and COVID-19. All together, I'm still debating if I'm going to do it that way, or if I'm going to do fourth, fifth by itself, and then sixth, um, sixth. Sorry, the um, biohazard plus COVID-19 plus the uh, base extension stuff. I, I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. So that means that we're probably going to see like maybe 
maybe seven videos out of this entire series, not including this one. So yeah, hope you like Clinic, because if you don't, it's going to be a lot of Clinic videos on my YouTube page. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's go and cut the video there. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, oh, if you're watching live, I am going to start the playthrough. If you are watching on YouTube, uh, do go check out the next video in this playlist series as uh, you'll see my first playthrough. And yeah, outside of that, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you all whenever.